dynasty of ancient Egypt is often combined with dynasties three, four, and five under the group's title of the Old Kingdom. The fifth dynasty pharaohs reigned approximately 150 years from the early 25th century BC until mid 24th BC. It's a lot of uh, rulers here. I'm not. I'm, I'm learning to learn these names. Um, I am. <laughs> these names are incredibly hard to pronounce. Uh, but the pharaoh that founded this dynasty, his name was Usakal. But and in the Papyrus West Card, which was written during the Middle Kingdom, it tells a story about how King Khufu of Dynasty Four was given a prophecy that triplets born to his wife wife would overthrow him, and he tried to kill him. But you know that's 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 an urban legend. It sounds like a good lifetime movie or a good story. During this dynasty, Egyptian religions made several important changes. The earliest known copies of funerary prayers inscribed on royal tombs, known as pyramid texts, appear. The cult of the god Ra gains added importance in kings from Yusakaf to Menkauhor, built temples dedicated to Ra at or near Abu Sir. Then, late in this dynasty, the cult of the deity Osiris assumes importance. Notably, in the inscriptions found in the tomb of Unus. Unus, excuse me. Now, this is the fifth dynasty, and as with uh, most of these dynasties that I'm coming across, I'm finding that there's a lot of stuff that isn't saved properly. I'm not even going to say saved properly. It isn't historically. You got too many people, too many scholars, quote unquote, arguing over what's right and what's wrong. Uh, you know. It's, it's the information is subjective, but knowledge is still power. Maybe I'll say something that inspires somebody to go out and attempt to find out for themselves. Anyway, Maffeo assigns 248 years of rule to the fifth dynasty. However, pharaohs of this dynasty more probably rule for approximately 150 years. Like I said, these estimates, these people go back and forth on what time was. I wish it was some way that when Napoleon went to Egypt or he went to blow the nose and lips off the Sphinx, that I, I wish it was some way that somebody would have kept the record. There's a video on YouTube you should go watch if you're ever curious about what the nose on the Sphinx looked like. You should definitely, it's called White Man Tells the Truth YouTube. And there's a guy, a white guy named Dr. Joel Freeman, excuse me, I'm going to stop saying the word white. There's a Caucasian. I don't know if that's any better, but it's Caucasian that is talking about the first dynasty, the second dynasty, and the third dynasty, and then he talks all the way up until Napoleon invades Egypt and blows the nose off the off the Sphinx, nose and lips. A lot of statues in Egypt Egypt are missing noses and lips. There's a reason for that. But this uh, artist accompanied Napoleon to Egypt to you know, and he drew the Sphinx before they blew the nose off. So if anyone's listening is ever just curious about that, his name is Joel A. Freeman, and that video is called, and the video is called, White Man Speaks the Truth YouTube, right? 